Welcome learners to today's lesson of the product and squaring of binomials. So today we're going to be focusing on the practice and application questions. So let's not waste any time. Let's get right to it. So looking at um, the questions, we are going to be required to simplify the following expressions. Now remember, when we are multiplying two binomials, we need to make sure that each term in the first binomial multiplies with each term in the second binomial. And the way that we can do that is by using that FOIL method. FOIL as in the first ones, the outer ones, the inner ones, and the last ones. So let's get to it just to remind ourselves how it is done. So we are going to be multiplying here. And remember another thing that you need to have in mind are your exponent laws. Because when we are multiplying, the same, um, the same base, then we add those exponents. And if need be, when we are dividing the same base, then we are going to subtract those um, exponents. So let's get to it. So the first one here, we have a d exponent 4 minus 1. That's our first binomial. And our second binomial is 3d squared plus 2. So let's multiply. We are going to say there that that is a 1 because we know that, that d exponent 4 is 1 d exponent 4 because there's only one of it. So 1 d exponent 4 multiplied by 3 d squared. 1 multiplied by 3 is 3. And then d exponent 4 multiplied by d squared. Remember, same base, we add the exponents. So that exponent there is going to be an exponent 6. Right. Then next, because we are adding in the next bracket that we are going to, we are going to say that 1d exponent 4 multiplied by 2. So what is 1 multiplied by 2? That is 2. And because the 2 does not have any variables with it, then we are going to take the variables with the 1 as they are. So it means our answer there is going to be 2d exponent 4. Then next, we are going to multiply now the inner ones. So the inner ones there, because we are subtracting there, the inner ones there is 1 multiplied by 3d squared. So we are going to say what is 1 multiplied by 3? That is 3. And then because the 1 does not have any variables with it, we are going to take the variables from the 3 as they are, and that is d squared. Then lastly, we're still subtracting. We are going to multiply the 1 with the 2. What is 1 multiplied by 2? That is our 2. And when we look at the expression, it has been placed accordingly by descending order of powers of the variables. So that is the a correct way that our expression should be represented. So let's go on to the next one. And before we can move on to the next one, actually, the last thing you need to do is to check if there are any like terms or not. Now, remember, how do we see like terms? These are the ones that have the same variable, so the numbers that have the same variable and the same exponent to that variable. And when you're looking at the expression there, none of them have the same exponent. So they might all be Ds, but they do not have the same exponent. So therefore, they are not like terms. Let's go on to the next one here. So the next one here we have 4x squared plus 15 in one bracket. So that's the first binomial. Then in the second bracket we have x exponent 5 plus 2. So let's multiply. We have there 4 multiplied by the 1 that is there placed with the x exponent 5. So what is 4 multiplied by 1? That is 4. And then we are going to multiply the variables and because they have the same base, we're going to add the exponents. So x squared multiplied by x exponent 5, that gives us x exponent 7. So we are adding. So we are now going to take the 4x squared multiplied by the 2. So the 4 multiplied by the 2, that is equals to 8. And then because the 2 doesn't have any variables, we're going to take the variables that are there with the 4x squared as they are. Then next, we are still adding. We are going to go to 15 multiplied by x exponent 5. So what is 15 multiplied by 1? 
that is 15 and the 15 doesn't have any variables so we are just going to take the x exponent 5 as it is and then lastly we are going to add the 15 plus sorry the 15 multiplied by the 2 and 15 multiplied by 2 that is 30 so let's place them properly in descending order of powers that is 4x exponent 7 plus 15x exponent 5 plus 8x squared plus 30 and that is our final answer when we're looking at the next one here, we have 2k cubed minus 12 in one bracket and in the other bracket, we have 5k plus 10. These are binomials that need to be multiplied. So let's multiply. We have there 2 multiplied by 5. That is a 10. Then our k cubed multiplied by k because they have the same base. We add the exponent that gives me 10k exponent 4. Then we have 2 multiplied by 10. So we are adding, and 2 multiplied by 10 is 20. Now, because 10 doesn't have variables there, we are going to take the variables from 2 as they are, and that is k cubed. Then the next um, product, we are subtracting. So we are going to say 12 multiplied by 5. What is 12 multiplied by 5? Yes, it is 60, you are correct. And then, because the 12 doesn't have any variables, we are going to take the variables from that 5 as they are. And lastly, we are going to multiply those outer ones, or the last ones, sorry, the last ones in each bracket. That's going to be, remember we are still subtracting, and then that's going to be 12 multiplied by 10, which is 120. As I look at the expression, it is placed in descending order of powers, so we leave it right there. The next one there is 3 9, sorry, 3d exponent 9 plus 1. That's the first binomial. The second one is 6p exponent 6 minus 1. So again, we multiply. 3 multiplied by 6, that is 18. And when we look at the d, base d and the base p, they are different. What does this mean? It means that we cannot add those exponents. Why? Because they are not the same base. So we only add the exponents when we are multiplying powers of the same base. So what do we do in this case? We are going to take the variables as they are. So this is going to be 18d exponent 9 and p exponent 6 as one term. Then we are going to multiply the 3 with the 1. Remember now we are subtracting in the second bracket. So we are going to say what is 3 multiplied by 1? That is 3. And then because the 1 doesn't have any variables, we are going to keep those variables as they are. Then we are going to say 1 multiplied by 6. We are adding. 1 multiplied by 6 is 6. The 1 doesn't have any variables. So we are going to leave the variables as they are. And then lastly, we are subtracting. We are going to say 1 multiplied by 1, that is 1. We look through the expression, we look for like terms, and in this case, there are no like terms. So that means that we have placed it in the correct, um, we have simplified it, sorry, we have simplified it as far as we can. Let's go on to the next one. So number 5 there. It requires us to square the bracket. So remember squaring means writing out a bracket twice. So we have the 4 plus p squared. So I'm going to place my 4 plus p, write it two times to show that we are squaring. Then what is 4 multiplied by 4? That is 16. We are adding. What is 4 multiplied by p? That is 4, four p. We continue with our adding. What is p multiplied by 4? That is again 4p. And what is p multiplied by p? That is going to be our p squared. We look through the expression. We look for like terms. Are there any? Yes, there are. We have the 4p and the 4p. 
So that means that we can add them. I'm going to start by writing my p squared because I'm arranging them in descending order of powers when it comes to the variables. Now what is 4 plus 4? That is 8p. And we're going to end it off with our positive 16. Let's look at the next one. So let me just write that properly because it was over my sum p squared plus 8p plus 16. Right, so the next one there is 2k plus 4 in brackets, and that bracket is squared. So again, we're just going to write it out two times. That is 2k plus 4, and that is 2k plus 4. So let us simplify that. That is going to be 2k multiplied by 2k, that is 4k squared. Then we are adding 2k multiplied by 4, that is 8k. Then 4 multiplied by 2k, that is 8k. And 4 multiplied by 4, that is 16. There we can see the like terms. So what is my final answer? 4k squared plus 16k plus 16. And that is the final answer for that practice question. Let's quickly go to an ad break and then we'll see you just now.